Hi, dear friends. Uh, welcome to this channel, Crazy for DB. Uh, here we study uh, the concepts related to the database management systems. Uh, the topic in this session is the DBMS transactions. It is uh, one of the very complex concepts uh, that we need to understand. Uh, as you can see, transaction broadly means change. Any change, as small as changing the phone number, say of an employee in the employee table, to uh, adding a data file to the database, all is change. So, roughly speaking, uh, except select any of the operations that you perform in the uh, database will be called as a transaction because that will involve a chain. Uh, select does not involve any chain. So, by from that rough definition, uh, from that uh, broad definition, we come to the scientific definition as, uh, has been given over here. Transaction is minimal set of changes which takes the database from present consistent state to immediately next consistent state with the restriction that the set of changes must be done by single session and once committed the changes are guaranteed to prevail perpetually in the database. So that is a very long statement. Uh, the definition has been given uh, in the form of this very long statement. We will take out four salient points of this definition so that we can understand the definition. Transaction is minimal set of changes. So minimal set of changes is the first salient point, minimal set of changes, which I have designated as A, as you can see here. Then, which takes the database from present consistent state to immediately next consistent state. So, for short, we will write like consistent state to consistent state. And so, I will call this, identify this state as C. Then, with the restriction that the set of changes must be done by single session. So, that is the third salient point made by single session, I call this as I and once committed, the changes are guaranteed to prevail perpetually in the database and so that point we take here as to prevail perpetually and that I identify as D and so if I join this ACID, that is what exactly this part is acid. The acid is the property of any valid transaction and these four points are scientifically or academically they are known as atomicity that is for A, C consistency, I isolation and D that is durability and so the acid property corresponds to the atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. Now the whole idea of the, the transaction basically uh, revolves around the concept of consistency because consistency is the most important aspect of any database system because database stores the uh, true facts of real life that is data. So at any point of time after an operation has taken place, the database should reflect the fact that has that uh, occurs in the real life or that happens in the real life that exists in the real life. And so to demonstrate these four points, we take an example of a bank transaction over here. Here there are two accounts A and B as you can see here and we will make uh, some fair assumptions. Uh, that uh, A and B, these two accounts exist in the same branch of a bank and uh, there is no cash transaction. The bank does not issue any cash. So we will consider these two points 
to uh, before we proceed over to this example now in this case a and b these two accounts a issues check of an amount 2000 to b obviously since uh, bank is not issuing any cash so b submits the check to the bank and this is the state of the accounts before change that bc stands for before change before change account a has got an amount of 3000 and b has got an amount of 4000 and the sum total of these two accounts is 7000 that is 3000 plus 4000 that is 7000 now as b submits the check to the bank there is a debit operation that is the account of a will have to be reduced by uh, by an amount of 2000 that is what exactly i am showing this by uh, uh, down arrow uh, so that is minus 2000 and the uh, uh, after change that AC stands for after change the account of A will hold only 1000 because 2000 have been reduced whereas in case of account B there will be a credit operation that is uh, plus 2000 that is uh, it will actually get upgraded by 2000 and uh, the after change amount will be 6000 over here so after change A's account will have 1000 and after B uh, after change the B's account will have 6000 and so the total is again 7000 that is what actually consistency means because in this process no money is lost or no money is generated so the sum total of these two accounts before change and sum total of these same two accounts after change is going to be same and that is what exactly the consistency is and atomicity basically will consist of because uh, atomicity is bounded by the concept of consistency so as you can see that just if I make the change of uh, change in the account of A or just make the change in account of B is not consistent because if I just make this change the 2000 have uh, have been debited from A but where they have gone because uh, the 2000 must appear somewhere uh, that is uh, that is actually what the real life says the money is not destroyed or or just if I make this change B then 2000 has uh, 2000 has appeared in this account so uh, uh, from where this 2000 have come so that that is required to be explained in the real world because money cannot be generated and so if I am supposed to make the change that is if I am supposed to make a transaction I have to make these two changes both the changes or no change just one change is making the database inconsistent so the idea of consistency basically uh, binds the idea of atomicity atomicity means that something which is indivisible means this set of these two changes is indivisible you cannot reduce it to just one change that is what atomicity is and then consistency where we say that the sum total of both accounts before change and after the change is 7000 as shown here now isolation isolation basically means uh, uh, that this transaction is the only transaction is going on in the entire of the database so that consideration basically is isolation or carrying out these two changes as a set independent of any other changes taking place in the database that is what actually the isolation means it also means that if a session a database session that is a user connected to the database if making the change A, then the same session will have to make the change B. It is not something like that your database should or your application should allow, uh, allow uh, to make one user a change A and then another user a change B. Then that will violate the concept of uh, isolation. Isolation basically means that if a certain transaction has been started, the entire set of changes will have to be made by the same session as if that is the only set of changes taking place in the entire of the database obviously the concurrency control mechanism in the database 
actually takes uh, care of this aspect. Uh, it is not just one transaction going on in the database, otherwise there will be loss of productivity in the database and so uh, uh, lots of users are working in the different different areas of the database simultaneously but there is no interference of any transaction set T1 into the transaction of another user set T2 and that is why the concept of isolation is. Then comes the D that is durability. Durability means the perpetuality of the changes that have taken place. So once committed, there should be a mechanism in the database system <coughs> that uh, those changes will prevail permanently in the database. Uh, for example, in this case, if A has given a check of 2000 to B, as a result of which the uh, account has been reduced to 1000 and account has been uh, upgraded uh, to 6000 in this case. So if these changes are lost, then the B has not received any money from A. So it means that this particular change will have to remain in the database permanently and will sustain through the uh, life cycle of the database, uh, uh, say of uh, breakdown and recovery. And if that guarantee is given by the database system, then that is called as the durability. So in this way, we have understood the concept of transaction and the acid property of the transactions. Uh, I hope you have understood this concept. Uh, I am going to uh, put some questions on this uh, topic in the description box below. You can uh, open the description box and uh, go to the question. It is for your own sake. Uh, the answer of which you can put in the uh, comment section of this uh, video uh, so that I will uh, get to those, uh, go to those answers and check if you have answered them correctly. Uh, that is for, and uh, be assured that I am going to answer all those uh, comments that uh, you uh, give in the comment section of this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.